today in my kitchen let's do together the Mughlai chicken biryani. Let's have a look at the ingredients for this recipe. I have here half kilo of the chicken, we are medium sized chicken. To it I am going to add some salt. I have already added there 2 tablespoons of the cashew paste, 2, pa 2 tablespoons of the badam paste. Okay. Now I have here some more ingredients which I need to add and do a marination for this. Then I have here one piece of the bay leaf and chili powder to your taste. Now the chili powder we will be adding only a little bit of pepper powder so other than that there is no spice. So please include the chili powder spice level how much ever you want for the biryani to be okay. So that's up to you. And I have added one tablespoon of the coriander powder, quarter teaspoon of the turmeric powder, half teaspoon of the roasted cumin powder, half teaspoon of the shah jeera, half teaspoon of the garam masala powder. Other than that I have some whole garam masala. I have two cloves here, sorry, two cardamom. I'm just giving it a quick and then just adding it here. I'm not powdering it so that it releases its flavor very well. Then I'm adding one star or anise. One nice big piece of the cassia, one big ilarchi, and two pieces of the cloves. Now I have one lime here, which I'm going to finally squeeze the lime here as well. And anta. Because to this biryani we don't have any other form of getting sourness other than the curd. I'll be adding curd, so you definitely you will get from there. But definitely these days you don't get very sour the curds are right. So I'm adding one nice medium sized lime because I've already added another quarter there. So this is one lime here. Quarter cup of the curd. Thick curd. Okay and quarter cup of the fresh cream cooking cream okay one tablespoon of the ginger garlic paste nice like this i'm taking one tablespoon okay i have grounded the ginger garlic paste and kept in a big quantity so that's why it's in a box all right then few sprigs of the mint leaves. I'm just squashing it up and adding some curry leaves, the coriander leaves as well. The rest we will add it in a while. I've taken a handful and I've just crushed it like this with my own hands like this. Okay. And about quarter cup of the freshly fried onions. And we need some salt and pepper. So we've already added the salt. To see and add the. If you don't want salt and pepper, just add one quarter teaspoon of the pepper. That should be more than enough. And just a dash of the saffron water. The rest I will need it for my rice, so I'm not going to add it here. So give it a good mix of all of this good flavor to the chicken. In the meanwhile I have soaked about one and a half cups of the basmati rice in water for this biryani. So that's getting soaked very well. Okay. Now let this marinate really well. Because we've added lime juice. It will make the marination nicely get into the chicken and it will soften the chicken more. Now this will take about one hour for the marination to set. So we're going to keep this in the fridge. I've kept a steel vessel here. To it I have kept the uh, about two or two and a half liters of the water. Now the water I have, what I have done is I have added nicely the salt. For, salt. Now salt you have to add above the level of your taste because after this we're going to drain this and throw this out and we're going to just add only the rice into the chicken mix. So what happens is the, the salt level has to be absorbed by the rice so that's the reason that we are adding more salt in this. 
so that the chicken will get uh, the rice will absorb the salt now here what I'm going to do is all, already what I did was I've added salt enough salt to it and I've added fresh two bay leaves with me which I had with me if you don't have you can add the normal bay leaves there and then I'm cutting two green chilies and I'm adding it here some mint leaves we are just chopping them and adding it there all these are for the flavor to the rice okay after this I will chop some coriander leaves as well we have already added all of this in the rice or in the chicken as well so this will give more flavor to the rice I have with me here in this ding chick some garam masalas. Let me just show you. I'm just going to add one star anise, one piece of the javatri, one big ilachi, one piece of the one like two small pieces of the cassia. Then I have here one teaspoon of the shajira, two cardamom pods, and cloves there. I'm just crushing the cardamom so that. The cloves they both leave their aroma well. I'm just going to add that in there. And adding about half lime juice here. Allowing the water to boil well. Here we will add one half teaspoon of the freshly uh, grounded ginger garlic paste as well. And now I'm going to allow this boil well. In the meanwhile, I just wanted to let you know that I have used two medium-sized biryani uh, the onions in this. One I have already fried and I have added on to the chicken. Another one half I have kept for garnishing it when I am doing the biryani. So once that boils, I will add in the rice there. My biryani pot is ready. What I have done is I have just layered the chicken pieces, the raw chicken pieces directly there. I'm waiting for the rice to be done, then I will assemble the rest. Water is boiling well here and all the aroma has come into the water. At this time now what I am going to do is just take about one third cup of the water. I am just going to reserve this to add on to the rice when I am doing the now. Now, I'm here adding the rice to this and allowing the rice boil in this flavored water. To this chicken. So, we're allowing the rice to boil well. I have put three eggs there, just boiling for, um, just adding it in there. It's optional. If you want, you can do it. Otherwise, just don't add the eggs, okay? Me, the consistency what I have told. So now I'm going to take the rice from here and to here. Okay? Offering the flame to the rice. Just bring it here. I'll drain the rice completely and bring it and add it on top of the rice. On to this chicken I will add it. Now the flame is on high and what I did was I have added the fried uh, onion along with that there was a little bit of the oil which was left about say it could be about two or three tablespoons of the oil which was left out that I have added on to the uh, rice here along with the other meat there okay now I'm going to garnish it with uh, some more saffron water I'm going to add in about one tablespoon of the butter. Okay, that's all. Now, if you have a tight lid for your biryani vessel, keep 
keep this rice covered. Cook on high flame for about 8 minutes. You can see my previous videos where I have made chicken similarly like this, just adding rice on top and then how beautifully it gets cooked like. So if you are finding difficulty to understand here in my video, I will post the links for the biryanis that you can have a look at where easily I am explaining you how well you can do it. And uh, I have shown you earlier in many of my videos that since my lid here is very tight on this, I need not add a foil. If you are feeling that you need, uh, the, the lid is not very tight, either you can roll a piece of dough onto your uh, side of your vessel and then close the lid so it will hold it tight enough. So even that way you can do or alternatively what you can do is put a foil and nicely tight the, close it up and then you put your lid, absolutely even that way you can do it. So I will post for the links for all the biryanis in my uh, video below. You may have a look at it and then you will really understand how uh, well you are. Uh, you can make your biryanis at your house this way. So fluffy and nice it will come out. And um, once now after 8 minutes I will bring it to the lowest of the flame and then keep it for another 10 to 12 minutes and I will cook this up till the rice is and the meat would be done very well like. Waiting for the biryani to be done. Biryani is done, just taking it out. Ooh. The chicken is cooked well. See, so soft the chicken is soft. So, putting some rice there, mixing up the Garlic. It won't be spicy biryani like how we make. It depends on the spice that you add, how much we you want your biryani to be. That's all. Thank you for watching. We are happy cooking, happy eating.